What's good everyone, Zuko here, back again with another video. In today's video, we're going to go over the best oath for a PvE build. Now keep in mind, I will only be going over pure damage, utility, survivability, stuff like that. And this is also including PvP. Before we get into it, make sure to like this video and subscribe because I do post daily videos. Let's get right into it guys. We're going to go from D to S tier. Stuff that just doesn't work well. For example, Contractor. Can't use anything on mobs with Contractor. Vision Shaper. Now people were saying or speculating that it would be good in PvE because when you kill a mob, you go invisible. But here's the thing, you can still be hit. It is not as viable as you think and the investment is way too high for you to be using this. So I would say it's probably another D tier. Link strider it's good if you are trying to do a support pve build other than that it has no other usability i'll give that at least a good c above contractor and vision shaper jet striker i i would say this is pretty solid you get extra mobility slots for your mantras but other than that it's fast it's cool i give it a b star kindred probably one of the best ults you can use for pvp and pve you got good mobility you got decent mantras you got insane vertical leaps and stuff like that like it just works well for anything i will say that's a that's an easy a tier all right this is going to get controversial bro because you guys are not gonna like this but blind tier it is an easy c now the reason why it's a c is because you only have tranquil circle and if you're using a mantra based build you won't be able to use your mantras when you're using tranquil circle so that 10 percent monster armor is useless because you can't do what are you gonna do m1 you don't got no heavy you're using mantras you know what i mean secondly it is cool that you can have like extra like vision while you're doing hell mode and stuff like that it gives you that like nice blue tint but i don't see it very viable in the current pve but to each their own oh i would actually now that we're uh doing this tier list I think Oathless is better than Blinds here because not only did you get 10 plus HP, you also for using extra mantras. So if you're using a mage build like the mage builds I've built in the past, if you haven't already, go check them out. This thing is an easy A tier. Arc Order. I know I haven't made an Arc Order build yet, but I will get to it and test it out myself. But people have been telling me that the arc beam can one shot most mobs in a game so i will test that out when i get to it but for now i will probably put it at least in a c tier from what everybody else has been telling me and now here comes my favorite oath guys okay not my favorite but it's probably one of the best oaths you can use as a mage or mantra based pve build it's dawn walker easily s tier you got good mantras you got a thing called protagonist syndrome where if you get hit with a shadow mantra or you use dawn walker mantra you gain this little aura around you basically you're immune to any status effects for example burn and when you're doing hell mode and you're fighting shadow attuned mobs your ether does not get drained this is my tier list this is what i prefer and if you guys need help let me know or join my discord and i can assist anybody that wants dawn walker i'll link it in my description and in the comments below let me know what you guys think in the comments appreciate you guys watching this and i'll see you guys in the next video